Thank you for joining us today at 2cupeads.com. I'm going to show you how we created our beautiful Blooms earring kit. And everything you need is provided in your kit at 2cupeads.com. So, let's get started. We're going to take our stainless steel wire that's included in your kit, and we're going to unroll it, and we're going to get any kinks out of it. And we do that just unrolling it and just kind of running our fingers down it, getting it straight. And you are provided with lots of wires, so it's not an issue. We need to cut it in half because we're making two earrings. So we have cut it in half. So our first step, we're loading our five top drills on. This one is a new kit color we're doing, which is in cyclamen opal, which is really pretty for summer. It's kind of a muted purple from Swarovski. Now we're going to take our wire and we're going to back through two of our top drills. And that's just running our wire back through the top, pulling gently, and making sure we keep our wires even. And we don't want to come down too tight yet, because now we're going to create our center. So I'm going to bring my wires, kind of curve them up so it's easier for you to see. We're going to take our Monty, and we're going to load it on and do the same thing. We're going to put it on one side, then we're going to take the opposite side of the wire, and we're going to bring it through. And bringing it down, we want it to go in the center, so we're going to kind of use our fingers to make sure that we get it where we need it. And you might have to, you know, use your fingers a little bit here to pull it and get it placed, going in the right direction so that it doesn't slip through the hole. Let me use this because my... So then we're going to pull tight. Bring our wires up around the back. Make sure I'm facing forward on with my crystal. Now I'm going to take my other Monty and do the same thing on the back side of the earring. Bringing it through. Pulling my wires. Come over here, look at this one. Loosen my wires a little bit. Get this one straight. Pulled a little too tight too soon. If you do that, all you need to do is straighten it out a little bit. If you do what I just did. There we go. Now I have it straight. And on both sides, I have my center. 
Now I'm going to bring my wire up and up my two wires together now. And I'm going to twist it. Looks good on both sides. Now I'm going to load my two millimeter bead. Take it down. Now I'm going to load my curved bead finding. Set it in place. Another two millimeter bead. back. Now with my round nose, I'm going to make my loop, which is just taking it back, around, and I only wrap it twice, pulling nice and tight. With my nippers, Cut off the excess wire. Load it on, close. And there's one half of my set. I have a right and a left. On this set, we have a right and a left earring. We want them to curve in. So this one I've already pulled together. Same thing. So now I'm just gonna show you how, again, we bring our two wires up, pull nice and tight, just like this. We twist, and either with our flat nose, round nose, whatever you're comfortable twisting your wire with, you start twisting up. Moving them up slowly. And you, if you have too much wire, you can cut it off. It does make it easier. Like I said, we give you extra wires, so. And then you load again your two millimeter bead. Your curve finding. Push everything down in place. Another two millimeter bead.
make our loop back towards us, bring our wire around, adjust, wrap two times, pull tightly, cut off our excess wire, and now we determine and I usually do this before. So this one is going this way, so I need this one to go the opposite way. There we go. So what I need to do is make sure this one is facing this way when I attach it. Close it. And now I have a left and right earring. Thank you for joining us today at 2QBs.com.